Well, here we are in Salt Lake City getting ready for Belmont in Arizona in an 11-6 matchup on Thursday evening. And uh, with Greg Sage and Kevin Agerman, it should be a fun game. And uh, Greg, is this time for Belmont to win one of these? Uh, you know, try number six, Kevin. Obviously, Belmont laden with senior leadership from Ron Johnson, Ian Clark, and Trevor Nowak this time around. You get the sense it's not just funny games, it's business. And I think tomorrow at 520 local time, we'll, we'll see Belmont's best. And the experience uh, has to be served Belmont well, you would think. Uh, pretty much everybody's going to turn this game tomorrow night. It's played in one or two NCAA tournament games. The last couple of years, Wisconsin two years ago in Tucson, Georgetown and Columbus last year. That's bound to help us. I think it's a coaching staff as well. I think they can maybe play through some stints, trusting that Vaughn and Ian and the, and the front court of Trevor Blake and JJ can maybe ride through some waves. And you know, with a talented Pac-12 team that started 14-0, that there are going to be some good Wildcat runs as well. Yeah, Arizona team, they shoot three-pointers as well, uh, just like Belmont does, uh, averaging seven a game. But you know, hope for Belmont's sake, you got to feel like if they can make maybe eight or nine, that's typically been the magic number for, for Belmont. He has nine threes a game in Belmont's winning percentage, which is historically good regardless. It goes up into the 90s, but one thing that will be interesting to watch, Arizona, its last five Pac-12 games when it gave up seven four, five losses. So Belmont can maybe find a range early if this energy solution is going to crowd into it. You might see an 11 over the six. But again, much respect for Arizona's roster. I said going into the conference tournament, I just didn't think Vernon would let him lose. That turned out to kind of be the case in that Murray game. Makes a game time shot and a game winning jumper at the end of the overtime. Just so much heart with him and the senior group and everybody up and down this roster. Yeah, I think as you alluded to, it's not exclusively to the, the senior backcourt of Ron and Ian that really gets most of the press clippings. The enormous contributions that Brandon Baker made in the championship game. You think about Reese Chamberlain's on-ball defense, steals, loose balls, tip-ins, and then you know, pulling off his warm-up and Spencer Turner making a free throw and getting a huge loose ball. It's kind of Belmont to a T when your name is called to go and contribute. Should be a lot of fun. 6.20 Central Time start. You can listen to the game on 104.5 The Zone with the Bruins Sports Network and watch it on TNT. For Greg Sage, I'm Kevin Ingram. That's all from Salt Lake City.